This is part two of our recent cooking tour in Cabo San Jose, Mexico. We will be cooking several dishes in this video. The recipes of the dishes are in the comment section below. One of them is a dish cooking meat with milk and coke, which is a kind of an odd combination. Find out which dish this is. In part one of the cooking tour video, we started out with a trip to the market to buy and learn how to choose the freshest ingredients. We stopped at the meat market and also our tortilla factory where they make their tortillas. The first recipe we're going to cook is called pork carnitas. The meat, onions, garlic, and salt are placed in a big pot and water to boil until tender. Here they cooked it in their outside cooking area, which is their auxiliary kitchen. Okay, so you call that dirty kitchen because it's outside. outside. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we start uh, the, the meat in the lard. See, now start frying. Okay, yes. So we're gonna put some cumin. Cumin? Yes. Cinnamon stick. Cinnamon stick. Oh, okay. Then we're gonna squeeze a half an orange in it. See, you will see is this. So when you put liquid in lard, that's in splash. See, like like an oil, oil. Water. Yes. Water and oil. Mm -hmm. Not orange and oil. Oh, you put the lime, the whole thing. Everything. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. And now we're gonna go from. It was frying before, and now and now it's kind of boiling. See, it's mm -hmm. boiling now. Now what is this called again? Carnitas. 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 Pork, pork carnitas. Sí. So you're going to put milk, about mm -hmm. half a cup? Mm -hmm. Yes. Half, half a cup. cup. And what does it do now? Uh, it's going to help to soften the meat, so to get oh, it tender. To get more tender tender. Rice. And that's Coca-Cola? Si. Sí. Uh, this one's going to go, after we the, the, the milk evaporates, we're gonna add the Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola is gonna give us the uh, the caramelized on top of around the, the, the yes oh. the sugar around the the meat. Oh, yeah. oh, and, a, and a dark color. Milk is added. Oh. See, boil it again. So as soon as the the milk evaporates, we're gonna add the, the Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola, now. So that's after about 10 minutes of yeah, cooking the, the pork. Uh -huh. He added See? the milk, now the Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. Because the beans is getting brown. Yeah, so Francisco is going to um, grill green tomatoes with onions and pepper and garlic on an open fire for how long? Until it takes about like a 10 minutes or so. 10 minutes until they kind of burn. Oh. And that's going to be used for? Uh, salsa verde. Salsa verde. They're both going to be salsa verde. But this one is going to be called salsa verde tatemada. And this is uh, salsa verde boiled. 
Green. Oh, boiled and boiled grilled. Boiled and grilled. Now which one? So the, the grilled one is going to be the hot one. <laughs> <laughs> and the boiled one is going to be... Also a hot one. <laughs> oh, a hot one too! <laughs> okay. Good. All right. I put just one pepper. So it's okay. We'll see. Okay. Come on. So here on the stove are the two methods of cooking the salsa verde. The green tomatoes, onions, garlic, and pepper are put in a small pot to boil. And the same ingredients are placed on a griddle to cook. At the same time that he is preparing the salsa verde, he is going to start with roasting the poblano in open flame. Just roast it to get an old blister. <laughs> and then we're gonna uh, put it in a, in a plastic bag. And then we're gonna make a sweat. Oh. We scrape off the skin. Yes. Mm. Mm. Throughout the, the skin and, uh, and then we're going to take all the seeds out. We're going to make strips. And then we're going to cook it later. Uh, this dish is called rajas de poblano. Poblano strips. Rajas. Very, very tasty. Rajas means? Rajas means strips. Strips. Right, strips. <laughs> and poblano is the pepper. Pepper. Roasted. No, rapido, no hurry. No? No. What do you think, Emily, of your opinion so far? Oh, I love it. It's exciting. I'm learning how to cook Mexican. And can you explain why uh, you do that? Why, why do you um, make what? the open, open flame like that? So we, we just are uh, doing this, we char them, because uh, we're going to uh, take all the skin off. So we're going to feel it, it. Makes it easier. Make, yeah, yeah, makes it easier, yeah, because uh, we don't want all the skin. The skin is very hard, but we don't want the skin in your mouth. So this is why we're going to take it off. We put the cooked poblano in a bag so that the poblano will sweat and it will be easy to peel. Cut out the stem, cut the pepper in half, and scrape off the seeds. Then cut it in strips and cut it into small slices. Place in the bowl and put aside. Boil one corn on the cob and when it is cool enough to handle, proceed to cut the corn off the cob and put it into the bowl with a cut poblano. In a frying pan, with hot oil, add the garlic and onions to cook. Cook until they are soft and starts to caramelize. You can smell it right away. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, it smells so good. So here is the poblano that was roasted with corn. This, yeah? Okay. We have to add the sour cream, salt and pepper. Sour cream with salt and pepper, wow. And how long do you cook that? This just until it gets everything uh, warm, uh, hot, and that's it. That's it. Good. It's already, it's already, yeah, it's already cooked, everything, it's already cooked. 
If you are interested in trying out these dishes, the recipes are in the comment section below. Okay, so now we're gonna make the, uh, the salsa right here. So we, uh, this is the salsa tatemada. Onions, garlic, and pepper. This is so the, gr the grilled one. See. Oh, that's the old fashioned way. Yes. Like my grandmother this, did that. Exactly, like yeah. my grandmother. This is a lot of work. Yeah. So, our, our, our grandmother, they used to make this all day, every day. Yeah. So that's why they were, they were very strong. Everything from scratch. What he is using here is called molcajete, which is a stone tool, the traditional Mexican version of the mortar and pestle. That's what it looks like. The grilled tomatillos. Those into the mold. Mocajete. Mocajete. I'm going to put some salt. Salt. And he will grind up. The difference in color, mm -hmm. the, the tomatoes that were grilled is a darker than the blue. But which ones, will, which one of these will taste better? That's the question, <laughs> right? Yeah, that's a big question. <laughs> control. Quality control. Yeah, very good. <laughs> Good. Okay. It goes perfect. Okay. There you go. So I'm going to do quality control with the roasted yeah, tomatillos. Yeah, it's good. And it's hot. Oh. Okay. So with this one, we're going to just let it cool down. And then we're going to add the onions and cilantro fresh. Okay, so she put it in a blender and blended the Come boiled on. one, yes. right? And then she will add. And then the we're gonna add this later when it, when it cools down. When it cools down. Okay. So that we're gonna use for the tortillas. This is just corn and water. That's it. Nothing else. No problema. Never problema. That's a lot of work. <laughs> it's easy to just buy the already made yeah, yeah, no. at the factory. I know. But it's the fun of doing it. Like exactly. That's what it is. 100% corn flour. And we're going to make like a little bowls, like a both bowl size. Mm -hmm. yeah, no, no. <laughs> they use what they call a tortilla press to form the flat tortilla. Then it is placed on a griddle to cook for a few minutes. When it gets puffy like that, that's the best. They ate that earlier. Yeah, the same uh, dough. Thank oh, you. and don't forget your... Are you going to join? No. Yeah, I'm going to do a, a little quality control. Oh, you should. <laughs> I yeah. have to, yeah. So we don't know. <laughs> Okay. 
thanks to Francisco and his team. We had a great time learning to cook and eating the local food. In the comments below are recipes of the dishes we just cooked. These are recipes passed down from his mother. I hope to be able to bring you more cooking videos in the future. But for now, so long. <laughs> Uh, I want to try everything. Okay. Okay, I have some. Mm. Uh, I gotta try these. Oh. Let's see. So flavorful. Natural flavor. Jalapeno in this one? No, no, just the. the...